Hi everyone and welcome to a new series of VR videos. In this one I'm going to show you how you can use VR to tell a story. So up till now a lot of my videos have been about VR and using um, VR in ways to interact with a virtual world and how you can make VR games. But there's also another side to VR that I want to explore a little bit and that is how you can use that medium VR to tell a story. So you as a user effectively are the camera, you don't really interact with the world but you're immersed in the space and you can be part of a story that unravels. And this has been done really well in the past with VR experiences such as Henry that follows a lonely hedgehog. And there's no kind of interaction in that. You are literally just a participant. You're just watching that experience inside VR. Other great examples of this where VR has been used to deepen the immersion is Lost, where you are in the woods and it's kind of eerie, but then you see this robotic hand acting as a dog in the background bouncing through the woods and then the iron giant comes and picks it up. It's only really very short but it's very impactful. So I wanted to make a VR story that you would be part of. This is going to be more of like supernatural slash horror kind of story. It all takes place inside this lodge here. The idea is that you're up there for a restful weekend and strange things start happening in the night. So I've got this log cabin environment, which I've created in 3D, and this is where our story is gonna be taking place. Not yet finished it, I'm still, I'm still trying to populate the space and, and get the, the size of everything mapped out. But ultimately you'll be in this cabin, it'll be nighttime, and then strange, unnatural things will be occurring. But you won't really be part of the experience as such. You're mainly the camera, but you're experiencing it as if you were there, and everything is kind of gonna happen around you and you're gonna watch as this story unfolds. There's still quite early days, but this is the first episode of the series. Just giving you an introduction in what we're doing, giving you a quick idea of the lodge that you're gonna be inside. It's got an exterior as well, but we probably won't see any of the exterior. So it's looking really cool. I went to some crazy detail modeling it. I can even cut out the little, uh, the little indents in the logs um, so that they sit properly, like, not that I'd really need to do that, I was just being really OCD about it. So we're in this nice cabin environment, the story's going to unfold. So in this one, let's just get Unity set up and ready to go. If you are a patron, you'll be able to grab the assets from my Patreon page. Um, and then in the end as well, you'll be able to grab the project. And I'll put a build up as well on there of what it's like to be inside this environment. The patron users can grab all the content they need from there. But you don't need the project for this, you can just follow along. It gives you an idea about, about how I go about creating stories for VR. Once you've clicked on new project in your hub, uh, you can use any kind of version you like. I'm using 2021.3.20F1, it is an LTS version. And we are going to use the 3D HDRP. This is going to require slightly higher end VR hardware in order to tell this story. Um, and I also want to play around with the HDRP as well. So I'm going to use the 3D HDRP. For those of you that are familiar with the HDRP, um, it's mainly based at like consoles and high-end PCs and also desktop VR, which is what this is targeting. So rather than like the quests and stuff, you can still use your Oculus, um, or Meta Quest, I keep calling it Oculus. You can still use your Meta Quest, but you'll need to have, like tether it to the machine and run it that way because it's going to need the processing power of your PC. Could try building it and see what happens it might work i don't know i just thought it'd be cool to have a look at the hdrp and chuck some real graphics power at this so we're going to go ahead and make a hdrp project i'm going to call this a vr story pick a location and then hit create project then once your project is open you'll get this handy hdrp wizard pop up and i'm going to go to the hdrp plus vr tab i'm going to go fix all Miracle buttons and by clicking that fix all button it's going to install the XR management package and So I can go ahead and close this box now. I've set the HDRP up for VR I'm gonna go file build settings Go to the player settings and dock that on the right and under my XR plugin management I'm just gonna tip tick open XR for the Windows Mac and Linux settings. Just double check Just click on open XR get a warning about the project is using the new input system it's going to say yes and then once it's restarted we'll go down to open xr at the bottom here for our interaction profiles just like we do on all our other videos we'll add in the oculus touch controller profile because i'm using an oculus device and that's it that's that's we're all kind of set up at that stage 
We are going to be using the XR Interaction Toolkit. Drive our XR bits and pieces. So we go to Window Package Manager and we'll go to Unity Registry. Scroll all the way down and you'll see the XR Interaction Toolkit. We'll go ahead and install that. I made a backup. And then once that's installed, we also want to bring in the starter assets. That's going to bring up all the input actions and stuff we need if we need them. And then we're done here, so we can go ahead and close. And in the main scene, we can remove the camera. And we we'll right click and go XR, XR Origin VR and drop that into the scene. I'm going to make sure it's put at 000. And I think the camera's got an offset as well. That's okay, but we'll put it at zero. And then we'll change our tracking origin mode to floor. So now we should actually just quickly test our setup just to make sure everything's working well. So we'll pop on our headset and make sure our heads are being tracked. My heads, or just my head because I've only got one head. Yeah, can look around my scene, everything's working nicely. So not a lot of difference really in setting up the, um, the HDRP for VR. In fact, it's probably even easier because you get that little wizard that pops up at the beginning, which is handy. And that's all I went through to set up the HDRP. And I've just been bringing in the, the art assets and kind of getting the scene ready. But like I said, you can grab the art assets from the Patreon page as a package and then bring them into that project you just made and then just drop the log cabin into the scene and it's good to go, ready for the next tutorial. Or if you want, you can go ahead and get any environment you want. You could don't even really need an environment. We can just I can just show you how to go about putting the story together and then you can get the art assets from wherever you want. But what I'll do as well, I'll, I'll create like a block out of the cabin a very using very primitive models so that people that don't have access to Patreon that want to follow along with this tutorial can do and it not really affect the story too much. It'll just be using like very simple models um, that you can still play around with. But in the next one, we're going to have a look at lighting our scene. This scene's going to be set at night. Uh, I'm going to do a bit more artwork in here over the next couple of days to get ready for that lighting video and then um, we can light our scene for how it's going to be used during the story. So there we go, this is the cabin, it's looking awesome in VR. There's going to be a bit more in going on in here later on, but everything that's going in will be uh, like a crucial part of the story and, and a lot of set dressing that which helps you give an idea of, of what's going on. So there'll probably be like a little table over here with like a, a radio on it, which is going to play a part of the story. One of those dial radios where you've got to tune it in. And some other props as well just to give you a feel for the space and who your character is. I'm going to show you how we can put it all together to make a really cool story. But yeah, next one is going to be looking at getting the art assets in and lighting your VR scene. At the moment, I've just got it lit. I've just used the HDRI outside and it's like a snowy environment. So it's, I can just sit here and chill and, and look out my window in my cabin. It's better than my real world. So I, I hope you like the sound of what we're going to be doing over the next few weeks. And hopefully you'll follow along and at the end of it you'll have a cool VR experience that tells a really cool little story. But if you want to stay up to date with these videos and follow along with the tutorials, then don't forget to subscribe and then we can build our VR story experience together. I'll see you in the next one.